This is a dragon tag. Kindergarten students at our school wear them on their book bags. There is, on the back of a dragon tag, an RFID tag. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. The RFID tag on the dragon tag is passive. It does not send out a radio signal until it is turned on by a reader. This is an RFID reader. It hangs in our stairwell, which students come down when it's time for dismissal. The reader sends out radio waves that turn on the dragon tag. The dragon tag then sends back only one message. It is a code. The code is a hexadecimal code of 12 numbers or letters. The reader sends that number through the internet to our RFID reader software. Our RFID software, reader software, then talks to our dragon tag software. And that program displays on the computer the child's name, bus number, and whether or not a parent is coming for them. We faced our first problem. Kindergarten students wanted to stop and see their names on the computer. Our Dragon Tag Programming Club came to the rescue. They learned just enough HTML and PHP to make changes. Now the kids' names are in big red letters in the center of the screen. Now not only does the Dragon Tag system help students get safely to the bus lines, it helps the kindergarten students recognize their names. Then we ran into a second problem. Some of the tags stopped working. Our third grade brought scientific thinking to that problem. Thanks to the generous donations of Atlas, RFID, and Alien Technology, we set up five classrooms of experiments. Miss Wagenhofer's class experimented with heat. They used a hair dryer, laminator, and a heat lamp. They tried to melt the tags. The only thing that broke the tag was the microwave. The tag exploded! Miss Al Altman's class tested for wear and tear. Her kids stomped on and crumpled the tags. They even broke the antenna. Miss Master's class tested if whether or not magnets affected the tags. They used special neodymium magnets. Miss Donathan's class froze her tags. One hour in the cafeteria freezer had no effect. I wonder about dry ice. Miss Jack's class soaked her tags. They still worked. Next, they will soak them in sugar water. Do you want to know what we learned? These tags are pretty resilient. We haven't figured out what the kindergarten kids are doing to make them stop working. Next year, we will test electricity. More importantly, we learned good science procedures, keeping our controls, testing our independent variables, and having a blast.